Hey guys, hey guys, what's your favorite color crayon? Mine's cotton candy. <laughs> Mine's eggplant. What's that? A wiener joke in the first 10 seconds? Oh, Cody, you naughty dog. Ooh, look at this one, Piggy Pink. I didn't know your mom's skin color was a crayon, Cody. Shut up, Junior. My mom's not a Piggy, Junior. Hey, Joseph, what's your favorite crayon color? Cotton candy's the best. Oh, bro, can I borrow that, please? Sure. Ah, oh, thanks, bro. Ha, 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 Patrick, broke my favorite color crayon. And what are you gonna do about it, punk crap? Yeah. Stupid brats, because of you, I'm stuck in this hellhole all summer long. So today, I'm gonna make you suffer. So get out a piece of paper, and I want you to write, I ruined Mrs. Fitzpatrick's summer. I'm sorry for being so dumb 10,000 times. When that hand starts to hurt, switch to the other hand. When that hand starts to hurt, switch again. When both hands are hurting, use your mouth to write. And if you complain once, you are starting all over. I'll be over here scrolling on Instagram and wishing I was someone else. <laughs> <laughs> what could? Damn, Junior. Who, who pissed in her frosted flakes? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a thousand more times. Show them a fudge. Get my ass, Junior. <laughs> What? <laughs> Who whacked off in her cocoa puffs? <laughs> ah! That's it! Cody, Junior, Joseph, Mikey, a thousand more times for all of you! Ooh, she wrecked her asses. All right, Cody, stop. Yeah, bro, chill out. You're gonna get us in more trouble. <laughs> hey, Junior, Junior. No, stop. J Joseph, Joseph. Dude, chill. Mikey, 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 Mikey. Mikey. No! I'm gonna say it anyway. Who took a shit in her cinnamon toast crunch? Not the paddle. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't spank me with the paddle. And whatever you do, please don't call me a dirty little boy. And please don't pull my hair. Come on, teach. Spank them cheeks. Cody! Yes, him? Ow! What the fuck? That wasn't hot at all. It just hurt. Don't talk back to me. But, oh, shit. Okay, I won't. Does anybody else want some of this? Damn, guys. I think she should be fired. That was messed up. I mean, a regular spanking would be cool, but she hit me in the face. Don't Sorry, Cody, my dad's done worse to her with his fist. They're not gonna fire her for hitting you, Cody. Principal Steinbeck likes violence. Yeah, you're right. We should try to make her quit. She wants to quit. She doesn't have enough money to quit. Ooh, well, I do have this prank lottery ticket that makes it look like you've won the lottery when you scratch it off. Maybe if I give it to her and she thinks she won the lottery, she'll decide to quit. <gasps> that would be so funny if you did that. Yeah, dude, that's a smart idea. Okay, I'll go tell her I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Fitzpatrick. What do you want, Cody? You want another one? No. Uh, I just wanted to apologize for making you angry. See, my parents buy all these scratch-offs and I steal them, so I just wanted to give you one to make it up to you. Oh, well, I do have a gambling addiction. Oh, I love scratch-offs. Thank you, Cody. Well, I hope you win big. I have a feeling you might. Thank you, Cody. Go sit down and finish your assignment. Okay, but if you win, make sure you give me a big old yippee ki -yay. Go sit down, Cody! Okay. Where's a quarter? Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Class! Class! I just want a million dollars a week for the rest of my life! <laughs> I never have to see your fucking faces ever again! Tell Principal Steinbeck, I quit! I quit! I quit! I quit! I quit! <laughs> Fuck you, Mikey! Fuck you! <laughs> oh. Now I feel bad. She's so happy, and when she finds out it's fake, she's gonna be depressed. It's okay, Cody. Everyone needs a little bit of happiness in their life, even if it's fake. I hope she doesn't say anything mean to my dad. He'll beat her. Do we have to stay in school now that we don't have a teacher? No, I think we can go home. <laughs> oh, I'm angry. Oh, guys, I am not in a good mood. No, sir. No, sir, Bob. Because your old teacher, Mrs. Fitzpatrick. Oh, what's the worst to describe her? I don't want to be too rude. I'm in front of children. Um, she's a loyal bitch for wanting to quit because she won the lottery. Can you believe it, guys? Oh, the money controls her. <laughs> That's sad. And she said some very, very mean things, a little bit on the racial side. <sighs> but I'm not going to judge her. Don't know how she was raised. <sighs> but you guys, you guys. You thought that summer school was going to be over because you didn't have a teacher, huh? <laughs> Stupid! Because <laughs> I found a teacher!
teacher just walking around outside. <laughs> How convenient, right? Mm, perfect timing. Yeah, his name is Mr. Blinkle. Well, come on in, Mr. Blinkle. Introduce yourself. Hey there, beautiful kids. Yeah, he enjoys you guys. Can you believe it? He begged for the job, cried for it. Weird, weird as hell. Like, I never knew somebody who actually begged for a job like this ever. <sighs> but, uh, anyway, you got the job, Mr. Blinkle. Teach these little brats. Please let them learn something. God damn it. Ooh, with pleasure. So see you brats later. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Blinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Principal Steinbeck. I think I can take it from here. Hey there, kids. I'm your old pal, Mr. Blinkle. And I'm so excited to be your new summer school teacher who needs to be outside running through the sprinklers and getting all wet and shiny when you could be in here with me learning. Now how about we all go around the class and tell me your ages. I, I mean names, but also your ages and your addresses and when your parents go to work and come home. Actually, how about you all just write it down and put it on my desk and then I can drive all of you home. Okay, this assignment's a lot easier. Yeah, this is super easy. Guys, does Mr. Blinkle look kind of familiar to you? Cody, I think I would remember someone wearing a fake mustache and glasses and nose. Yeah, yeah, he's just, he's just weird, yeah. Oh, what's this? A spanking paddle? <laughs> Your old teacher knew what she was doing. I thought I was going to have to stop by the store and pick one of these up. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. Uh, Cody, you mind looking up for me? What? Thanks, got it. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Guys, Mr. Blinkle just took a picture of me. Well, maybe it's for yearbooks. But, Junior, there are no yearbooks in summer school. Well, maybe he's trying to put names to faces and that helps him remember. Yeah, maybe. I just finished the assignment, so I'm done for the day. All right, Mr. Blinkle, I'm done with my assignment. You don't have to drive me home, I can just walk. No, 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 you need to stay. Wait, you told me after I was done I could go home. But we have a big group assignment coming up at the end of class. It's a group hug, a big old, big old group hug. Can I skip that? No, no, it's mandatory, it's a mandatory hug. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 J Junior? It says here your dad's a stay-at-home dad? Yeah, he doesn't have a job. Oh, that sucks. That is very disappointing. Okay, that's fine. I'm not really that into redheads anyway. Oh, no, my mom's dead, I think. Oh, okay. Everybody hurry up with those papers! Guys, the new teacher's kinda nice. He wants us all to hug after class. He's still kinda weird. He's got a big nose! Dude, don't make fun of the Jewish like that. I think you just did. I need to go ask the teacher a question. I like to announce when I'm getting up from my desk. Hurry up, kids. When you're done, we can go to the gym and hit the showers. Hey, Mr. Blinkle, can I talk to you in private? Yes. Yes, you can. Where do you want to talk? In the closet? Or maybe out in the hallway or in the bathroom? Or maybe we can talk out in my car? Or at my house? Yeah, we should talk at my house. Because the walls are completely soundproof, so no one will be able to hear us. Not even the neighbors. It'll be extra private. No, right here's fine. I just didn't want to be really loud and you're kind of yelling. Oh, well, what did you want to talk about? Well, this famous streamer I follow has been sending me really inappropriate stuff, like pictures of himself and he's been really weird, so I just thought I should talk to an adult about it. Ew! Get out of my face! I don't want somebody else's sloppy seconds, that's disgusting! Okay. Ugh. I gotta start being a streamer. They just have it too easy. I miss the good old days when all you had was a van full of candy and a dream. <sighs> Did you ask the teacher your question? He didn't seem interested in my problem. Hey guys, should I throw a paper ball at the teacher? That'd be fucking hilarious, Junior. A real hoot. You want me to throw it? What? I can drop fucking bombs, Junior. I can make it rain on that hoe. I'm like Tom Brady, Junior. You know that thing. Yeah. Yeah. So damn naughty. You deserve this. Aw, oh, Cody, you missed! Well, I guess I'm not Tom Brady. I guess I'm some other quarterback that's bad at throwing. I don't know. I don't know sports. I'm gonna make another paper ball. Matt Schwab? What? Is that one Matt Schwab? I, I, I guess I've heard of that. Well, I guess I'm Matt Schwab. Alright, I'm gonna hit him right in the head. <sighs> I hit the camera. Are you Matt Schwab? <laughs> Dude, just give me the ball. I'll throw it like Michael Vick. You're gonna kill a bunch of dogs? Yeah, I'm gonna get the job done, though. Ugh. Here's my paper. <gasps> oh my god, your mustache was fake? Oh, man, it's Mr. Winkle! What a pervert! Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> That's right, it's me! No, nobody tried to follow me, or I'm gonna stab her with this pencil and she'll get lead poisoning! Well, they actually make it with graphite now, but still, it'll hurt really bad! Come on! You know, it would be really cool if you told the principal I quit and that I didn't kidnap a student. Somebody help me! Oh, that was a close one. Yeah, dude, he almost got our ass. I mean, he did take a student. Who's Mr. Winkle? Dude, you don't wanna know. But I do, though. You know EDP-445? Yeah! He's like the white, skinny version of him. Yeah, the white twin, dude. Oh! <laughs> I'm even more mad! You can tell by my tone. <coughs> no! Why does it happen to me? Principal Steinbeck! Oh! Another one bites the dust!
dust. <clears throat> Another one bites the dust. Oh, look, class, your teacher quit. Another one. I guess it is your lucky day, since I can't find a second teacher just wandering around outside. It was nothing but homeless people I tried. But look, I will have a teacher for you tomorrow. Yes, he will be meaner and more angrier and eviler than me. <laughs> I love it already. But if I can't, oh, I have to teach the class by myself. I will, I promise you I will. And you won't like it, cause I bite. <clears throat> I'm not nice. So, uh, I guess class is <laughs> dismissed. Oh, get out of my face. I don't want to see you guys anymore. Oh, oh. Yay! We get to go home early. Hey, Joseph. I'm never going to forgive you for breaking my gun, Candy Crab. And what the hell are you going to do about it, fuck boy? Not a damn thing but cry to your mama. Huh? Huh? That's what I thought. My mom's dead. Hey guys, it's Logan. Thank you guys so much for helping us reach our goal of selling 2,000 Jeffy Pianos. The Jeffy Piano will only be available until July 31st. So if you still want one, go on smlmerch.com right now and pre-order yours now. Thank you so much for being amazing fans. We love you guys and I can't wait to make more videos for you.